hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to use a uh, if and uh, case statement instead of a sql uh, query so uh basically sometimes you, you might want to write a kind of like if conditions and uh, switch cases instead of your uh, query uh, instead of your sql query so in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to do this instead of a query so let me just go back and jump into my uh, sql workbench so once i have workbench open up so i want to select all the customers so if you go into the customers table uh, let me just show you what's in the instead of the customers table so you can see we have the details about the customers including which countries they come from so let's assume that this business is located in the us we want to have another column uh instead of our table uh instead of our table that shows us whether the whether the customer is, is from a foreign country or is not from a foreign country basically we want this we want another column in which will store by which will store uh boolean value basically a yes or a no if, if uh, depending on if the person is from the us or is not from the us so if the person is from the us is foreign is foreign column should have yes if it's not from the us it should be no right so let's go ahead and actually write a kind of a simple uh, statement like that so let me just go ahead and select uh select everything so i'm going to go ahead and simply select uh everything i'm going to select everything from i'm going to select everything from the uh from the customers table from the customers table so customers and then simply run this query and let's see what we get so if you run this we get back the list of uh, the customers uh if all the customers we have right so now i want to go ahead and have an if statement right here i'm going to have an if statement we're going to say if uh we're going to say if uh country so we're going to get the country column right we're going to say if uh country let me just exit this. so if country yeah, so if country uh let me just make a, a package so if country uh is equals to, if country is equals to the usa so we're going to say us uh, usa right if the country is if the if the, if the customer if the customer is from the us uh, what do you want to do so after writing this is a condition and then after that you keep a comma and then you write uh, what would happen if the condition is true and then comma what would happen if the condition is false so what else is happening if the condition is true what you want to simply return is simply return uh if this is true you're going to return a yes right here right and if this if it's not true you're going to go ahead and simply return a no so no just like that so that's what that's basically the query so if the person is from the us if that is true we're going to return yes also you're going to return no so let's go ahead and simply run the query again and now you can see we have it right here so let me just scroll you can see columns and you can see the column right so this person uh, if i look in the country uh this first customer let's see which country he is from so let me just find the country column uh, which is right here so the first customer is not from the us so you can see he's having no uh, the second customer is from the us so he's having a yes uh, this is not a us no no and no so you can see it works that's basically how an if statement works in sql right so that's how you can simply write a simple uh, if statement in sql so you go the condition comma if the condition is true what to return and if the condition is false what to return right so you can also give it a name you can give it uh, you can say us and say is uh say is let's go foreign okay foreign just like that i hope that's the spelling of foreign uh, i think that's not the spelling of foreign so let me just say foreign no nah, right it's foreigner basically i hope that's the spelling of foreigner so let me just run that so now you should be able to see uh it is foreigner column you have the column right there so that's basically how we can perform uh the simple right and is simple uh, uh if statement instead of a sql code and we'll look at your uh, if statement more as we go throughout the course and we'll apply it more okay this is just a basic foundation link link the basic foundation for sql okay so now let's also look at case statement so uh let's say that you want to uh you want to you want to you want to return diamond uh if the product uh, have a uh, have a, a product worth of more than five uh, five hundred thousand want to return uh, gold if the product worth is equals to or greater than uh, three thousand else you're going to return silver so how do you do that so let me just go ahead and select everything from the products column so let me just go ahead and uh, delete this code right here so when you say select and i'm going to go ahead and select everything from uh, everything uh, this is going to be select everything from the another column that i want uh, from the, the table that i want it to do it is called the products table so products table so products so i want to select everything from the product table and let's run this query so you can see you have all the products right so we can calculate the worth of the product is going to be the quantity in stock times the buy price that's what that will return to us the worth of that product so let's go ahead and add the column right here to calculate the worth of that product so to calculate the worth of the product is going to say uh this is going to be a calculated column and look at calculated columns in the last video so we're going to say quantity in uh stock which is this column right here right this column right here and we're going to multiply it by the buy price okay the buy price which is this column right here and you're going to call this column uh let's say worth okay simple like that and if i go ahead and run the query again now we should have an additional column which is called worth so if i can see that we have the worth column right here good 
So once you have that column uh, uh, selected, now we can go ahead and order a column by any value that you want. Okay. So now what basically I want to do is uh, we can also order it if you want. If you want to order it, but let's go ahead and simply just write order it by the what. So we're going to go ahead and simply uh, order or uh, order by and then we're going to order by the what. So if you run the code, now you can see we should have the products ordered in what. So once I run this code again, we should have the, uh, the product ordered in what, and you can see uh, they're ordered in what, right? In uh, this should is descending order. So let's add order it in, uh, sorry, actually it's ascending order. So let's order it in descending order. So say descending order. And if you run the code again, now we should get back the what, but now in uh, descending order, right? From the biggest to the smallest. So now we have this product as the, uh, the one which has the biggest what. So good. So once we have that done, now I want to write a case whereby we return diamond, right we can we can you can leave like the product status you can return diamond if the watt is greater than uh five five hundred thousand and uh, we return gold if it's less than uh if it's greater than three thousand also return silver okay so let's go ahead and write a case message just go ahead and simply say case uh case right here and then simply will say end that's because how you write a case statement so in here that's when you go ahead and put in the different conditions that we have so i want to say when uh we're going to say when the product the, the the product what which is going to be the quantity times times the times the stock sorry the quantity times the buy price if it's great going to be greater than uh we can say going to be greater than uh greater than or equals to uh sorry this is going to be greater than or equals to uh, five thousand right uh five hundred thousand so one one two three then what you're going to go and say we're going to return we're going to say then and then after that you return we specify which value to return so going to this is going to return diamond so uh diamond just like this all upper cases and go ahead and specify another case i want so i can go ahead and just simply press enter and repeat the same i'm going to say when the i'm going to go ahead and paste that value right here is greater or equals to three thousand that uh, three hundred thousand so one two three then what you want to go ahead and do we're going to simply say it is gold right else we're going to go ahead and say it is silver we're going to go ahead and say silver so silver that's basically it so that's basically the, the case that we have here so we're getting an error because we need to keep a comma right here so once we have that you can see we have that case statement so if i just zoom out so you guys can see the whole query so that's basically the whole query so if i go ahead and select this and run it again now we should get back another column right here uh which is going to go ahead and show us the detail of the different product now you can see this this is really too big that's why it's appearing like this so let's actually give this a name so you can go ahead and simply say uh us so let's say us uh, us and you can give it a name you can just call it uh uh customer status let's just say customer status okay so customer status and you can just go ahead actually this is not going to be customer status uh, actually it's going to be product status right so not customer but product because we're taking this from the product table so product uh status so if i go ahead and select this again and run it again now you can see if i go on the side you can actually see we have a status right here so you can see if it's greater than five thousand the product what of the product we are getting the diamond else we have if it's greater than three thousand or equals three thousand we have gold and then finally we have the silver ones right here so you can see that you have the product status so that's basically how you can use a case statement and also look at how you can look uh use an if statement so those are the two ways you can use a case statement and if statement okay so we'll look at this more when we go through this course we'll apply this uh, more more and more but for now this is just the basic foundation and that's what we're trying to do in these videos to lay down the foundation of a, a, a sql and how to work with sql code so if i go back in here yeah that's all let's see if i have any assignments for you so yeah again you don't learn anything if you don't actually practice so this is basically what uh practice i have for you so just uh practice write the code and try to see if you can make this work if you uh you have any issues you can find the solution in the link in the description of the video okay so uh guys thanks for watching again if you like the video uh, one easy way you can support the channel is just liking the video uh subscribing to the channel and sharing this content with anyone who may, may find it helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe